I don't know if I was in it. Okay, so I'm doing a presentation on Feed My Starving Children. Have your parents ever told you that there are people all over the world starving, so you better eat what you're given for dinner? Mine have. And most of us don't really know how serious of a problem hunger really is. I'm sure Richard Prodfit's parents told him the same thing and then he realized he could actually do something about it. Feed My Starving Children is a Christian nonprofit organization founded in 1982 by a Minnesota businessman, Richard Prodfit, who is committed to feeding God's children. During this presentation, I'm going to tell you how serious of a problem hunger across the world really is. I'll give you some statistics from just last year to show you how real it is. And I'll also tell you about Feed My Starving Children and how you can help and how it started and what, you, what it does as well. So, the cold hard facts. Based on the statistics collected at the World Food Program, about one in every nine people do not have enough food. 12.9% of this population is undernourished and one out of six children are underweight. Asia also holds two-thirds of the percentage of hungry people in the world. There are, those are just a few facts that show how serious of a problem it is across the map. This map shows that 8 out of 117 countries included in the study had alarming hunger problems. Um, and notice how most of them are in Africa. Africa is one of the most underfed continents in the world. And that just shows all the other countries as well. Uh, and now I'll tell you a little bit how Feed My Starving Children came about and how it helps all those children having to deal with hunger. Feeding God's Starving Children Hungry in Body and Spirit was the mission state statement of this charity. And it's a Christian-based nonprofit organization that works to provide food to people in need. It was started in 1982 by a man named Richard Prodfit from Minnesota because he believed that God told him he needed to fit, feed the starving children he saw in Honduras while he was on a mission. This organization creates its own formulas for their food that uh, seem to benefit these children as much as possible, like the manna pack rice meals. And there's just, that's just a little example as how much the organization has grown. In 1994, there had been 400,000 meals sent out. Now there's been ne nearly 273 million. And in 1994, there were only about 2,400 volunteers, and now there's a little bit more than a million. Uh, so to me, it looks like Mr. Prodfit had the right mindset when starting up my feed, uh, feeding my starving children. And finally, now that you guys all know what this organization does to help face this problem, how can we help? There's really two main ways we can help out with this organization, uh, and one of them is donating, and one of them is going to actually help pack the food and go to the locations and do that. The really cool part about donating is that each meal only costs less than a quarter produced, so based on that, any donation really helps. And then whatever is donated, 90% goes directly to feeding those kids. You can also volunteer with Feed My Starving Children and help uh, feed those people in need and help pack the food and actually help out there. There's permanent locations in Minnesota, Illinois, and then here in Arizona as well. There's a few. Uh, and if you get a group of people to go, it actually ends up being a lot of fun and you get to experience the whole thing and knowing you've helped out so many kids. So thanks to Mr. Richard Prodfit, millions of hungry kids are now being fed nutritious meals. Are there any questions? Yeah, what made you want to choose this topic as a presentation? Because I've actually gone out and helped this this charity with my school band group in high school, and I thought it was really cool, and it was a nice experience helping those kids. Any other questions? How can we go out and start a group to do this? So if you go to the location, either in Tempe or Mesa, uh, you can actually go out to the location and sign up there and get a whole group and you can just stay however long you want or you can sign up online and do it that way.
Anything else? Okay, thank you. Wonderful presentation. Thank you. Thank you.